As you may have noticed, Fantasy National got itself a facelift, and if you're looking for all the previous models that you've been building up over the years, do not worry. Just go under Manage Models, click on, and boom, they're all there. So you don't have to worry about that. They've just been hidden for the time being, so they don't bog down everything when you click underneath Active Model, just to try to parse through the options. You can turn them all back on if you want to make sure that they're in that drop-down menu. But the way that I like to do it is go through the tournaments a few at a time, have my general strokes gained. You can see I still have Pebble Beach turned on. Don't need that one right now. And I'll probably need Riviera coming up next week, so I can turn that one on, click off, and then boom. If they do not show up underneath your active model to begin with, just refresh at the top and it will load everything back in and you will be good to go from that front. Uh, what you can do is also pin something so you can see that I have waste management pinned. If you just click the little pin just above whatever active model is active for you at the moment, that will become the default mode when you log on to the site. I like to have it for the active model for the tournament that we're going for that week, but you don't have to do that. You can have a general strokes gained or whatever 10 stats that you like looking at at any one time. You can just change that around so we can even go into our strokes gain model and we can say, hey, I have total off the tee, approach around the green and putting, five very simple things, but I can always go into edit model and mess around with it in there. It doesn't matter about the weightings, whatever it is that you want to do. And in the sliders for everything, uh, I like the sliders where you get a sense like, oh, I have putting weighted way higher in this one than everything else. If you do want to use the standard, go in and change everything, you can do that as well just by clicking over the percentage, setting it, and locking it in, and you will be fine. From that point forward, you can go manually adjust them all or lock in one and mess around with the other ones to try to get your model to as close as you want it. You can always add a stat, in under the select a stat and you'll be good to go from that front and wait something then you just click update model and it will update down in the bottom corner now if you do want to make this your default model just click on set as default model and every time you come back to fantasynational.com it will be saved up there in the view that you have selected to look at each and every time